Oh, we're back to Escape from Mars for now. <laughs> uh, welcome back. Uh, this will be a bit challenging because I have a, a big fat boy cat on my lap. It's the only way he would calm the hell down. Welcome to the finale of Escape from Mars, hopefully, as long as I don't screw this up. Um, but, you know, at the end of, you know, when one door closes, another opens or something like that. Uh, we'll hopefully we'll see by the end of this we will be on to the next chapter or not because I thought I was gonna be there like I don't know five six episodes ago and then I crashed the stupid escape ship so let's hope that doesn't happen what is that why is there a random I must have took that wall out at some point. Mm -hmm. I took the wall out, but never took the door out. Awesome. All right, so uh, really, where we're at here is, is just to figure out what all we want to take with us. Um, definitely want that. What's the story with the uh, ammo and stuff? I'll take one of those. Oh, I'll take one of those. I got one of those. Yeah. Take all that. Uh, take one of those and one of those. I'll take some cash. Never know if I'm gonna need it. Uh, let's see. Oh, and um, never made a backup tier three drill. So here, let's grab one of those. Uh, Like I uh, still have parts in the in the queue. That's uh, put those over there. Let's put that there. Go here. I'll take one of those with us, and then obviously as many missiles as we carry. Yeah. Pretty care. All the ammo. Yeah. And these are just bare guns of what I already have, so we're good. Alright. Uh I leave that door open. I did. Well probably because I oh that's door to a different thing that I never got around to finishing. This one at that open. Uh, where is that grinder ship at? Oh, I think I left it sitting out over. I thought I left it over there. Oh well. I don't know what the hell I... I don't know what the hell I did that thing. I probably crashed it somewhere. Jeez, it was only, you know, like last week. All the thrusters around, that's not good. It's hard to fill hydrogen tanks when you're using it all up. Alright, let's uh, put some tools away. Actually, I'll put them in, uh, in my new captain's room. Hey. Oh, that's my real gun. Spare gun, missile launcher, some cash, meds. How much of this can Not much. We'll put that someplace else. Let's put a little bit of this ammo in here. But like, uh, 80. 
in here, up in here, the reactors, let's do uh, 56, for the hydrogen thrusters to uh, and the hydrogen tanks to fill uh, but uh, I can tell by the screaming parachute thing that I need to probably add some parachutes to this thing in case I need them Swords here. There we go. Um, did I take all the material out of here? No, it's just. You know what? I don't have to wait for this because that's the reason why I left that. I built these this tank over here, so I don't have to wait. I do have two tanks though, right? Or just one? Yeah, two. So what I'll do is put this on stockpile. We'll fill up all the way, but we'll get get that dog a little on. Uh, uh, going a little quicker here. Actually, it looks like it's already on five. No, that's just toggling on a... Let me set up this toolbar. Thanks. Let's off. There we go. Next thing I want to do is I want to get uh, some ice on board. So what do we got? We've got three large cargoes, but we don't want to go crazy because we want to actually be able to take off from this freaking planet. Actually, while we're doing that, let's uh, let's do a little evaluation of thruster capabilities. this landing gear because that'll get confusing. Switch lock. Switch lock. Okay, cool. Alright, so at ball thrusters we've got four, which is pretty cool. Because Two of them will get a large container up off of Atmo, uh, a full uh, large container, I should say. The problem being is is that we don't have any large uh, hydrogen thrusters, and that's going to be the thing that's going to kill us. Uh, but we do have one on the back, so once we get, so once the um, that's what it is. So once we, once our atmospheric starts getting ineffective, we'll have to rear forward and jam it uh, with those thrusters. So we got six that are promoting left there. So we'll probably go at about a 45 degree angle so we get as much out of all of them as we can. So we get to about, so, but we got one and four, and one of these is worth like nine of those, a little less. So 
because those are 110 a piece. So that's 440k. And I think this is, is like. And it's not bad because I actually am. Because I think that's like 580k. Let's actually. Let's consult the documentation. Let's consult the manual. Because we don't want to repeat this again. We do not want to do this falling from the sky thing again. Let's see. Where do I have that? Funny thing is, I always have this document at the ready, and it's always been at the top, so I never knew where it was in my. Oh well. I just have to live without it, I guess. Actually, maybe I did something like. Uh, no. Alright. Never mind. Okay. I forgot about that. So. I think we'll be safe if we put one large container's worth of ice in here, but we don't want to really go much beyond that. Where then we're asking for trouble. See. Our jump drive is charged and ready to go. We're at 70% of the tanks. Tank. Uh, 37 minutes. Hmm. could do is take off with what I got I mean I'm not gonna chew through that and then you know in the amount of time as long as I don't uh, just concerned about like we're not gonna use a whole lot of that what's our battery life look like Batteries. fully recharged at different times but I have two reactors running and they're probably running full to tilt. Yeah, they're running full tilt, so. Hmm. What to do? Well, that's actually, uh. Ah! Uh. Oh, I opened my faceplate. What the hell did I do with that? Did I leave it over here? That's what I think I did. I probably left it over here. I think it ran out of fuel in a hole over here, and I was just like, screw it. It's not over here. Oh, there it is. How are you doing? Oh, you're 100% cool. Jackass has got all these GPS's going. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do while I'm waiting for that to get fueled up is this. I'm going to make sure that everything's Put away where I go, just in case I screw up, smash this into something again, the ground, what have you. So I got some place to go back to. Because I do not want to do this all over again. Okay, 
that's put away. What the hell was I doing over here? I think I was converting this over for something. I got doors. I think I was gonna, well, obviously I was gonna park something in it. Um, I think I was gonna park the rover in it. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we need a connector. So we've got that block there. Get rid of this stupid random door. Makes no sense. Hey, look, that looks like just the right location for something. Keep the dream going. Keep the dream going. Keep the dream alive. Hopefully everybody had a, a good weekend. Um, uh, mine has been spent trying to get uh, one of my home servers updated and getting the software installed. So I think I've made a mention about this in the past and in, uh, in previous episodes this is about the fact that like I have, you know, much like most nerds, I have a media server at home that I have I have transferred a lot of my videos, much like the ones you're watching right now, onto a network attached storage and that but I wanna have a way to play it on my TVs and stuff like that. And so I use Plex. Well, I used to use Plex. Uh, but since I moved into my current location I've kind of been blowing off getting that whole process set up and done. Uh, and, you know, because lazy. <laughs> um, just, you know, other things took precedence. So, and uh, my housemate was like, yeah, it would be really cool if we had that back up again. And I was just like, yeah, I should work on that. So I've been working on it and like, I haven't even stood it up let alone like since I moved which was like five years ago <laughs> and so it was just kind of like all right well first thing first is I gotta you know get it stood up so I got it up and it's running um, but the operating system was old and you know because I'm lazy uh, and it's a Linux system so it's just like instead of having to do like a full ridiculous painful upgrade I was like nah man I am just going to do uh, I'm just going to do a OS upgrade uh, through command line uh, so you know basically walk through an upgrade which is fine except for the fact that oh this is even blocks. So I want this one or this one. Uh, I think I want that one instead. So I was like, all right, and so I'm gonna go rat route. No problem. But it was so old because <laughs> it's been offline for over five years. It's like and you can't just go from like the five-year-old version to the new version so my options were you know throw new discs in it put you know a new OS, at, OS on it transfer the files over and it's like well that sounds like work and then the second thing you do is just wipe the existing and try to put the stuff back and it's like well that's definitely not gonna happen and the third option is, is like I gotta walk it through like I said you can't just go from like you know 
and this would be Fedora, so it would have been, and I was on Fedora 25, and it's just like, I can't go to 25 to 37 right now. So I have to walk it through. So essentially I've been spending like, you know, time lazily walking this upgrade through. What the hell's going on? That's four. Let's do this like, here I can. Didn't check to see where that hinge was. I've gotten into the habit now of making sure I keep track of where the notch is on these hinges because it irritates me to not know what direction they're going to turn. Yeah, so uh, I've been doing that and so you can skip like one version sometimes you know uh so essentially it's you know try damn it wrong door uh, so essentially it was all right try you know do two versions ahead well first it was like oh let me see if i can squeeze out four versions nope okay gotta do just two so go back do do versions go through that upgrade and the process is actually kind of long but it's cool because that means i get to play video games and <laughs> while i'm waiting um i think i want this to go the other way Yeah, so I've been walking that through. It's still working on the process. And I haven't even gotten to the point of like actually getting to the reinstalling all the software, getting it all configured. And it's like, even after I finish that, then I have a bunch of ancillary software I've got that, you know, I used to run on it that I've had to remove that I'll have to probably put back on there at some point. So it's, you know, one of those things where it's just like, well, that's gonna be a week's worth of work on top of the already week's worth of work I have with my work, you know. So it's like, I want that door, I want this door. So it's gonna be, it's gonna take a while. It's going to be fine. Oh, you did 35 to 37? Yeah. Someday I'll get to the point where I can do that. Um, so where I'm at right now is, is I've gotten through... Um, I did 25 to 26, 26 to 28, and I left off restarting on a 28 to 30. It's currently in the process of, of a reboot and doing the whole, like... Um, you know, install after reboot kind of step. Then, mind you, all this is command line too, because it's a server. It's not, you know, which isn't fine, because it's like I get to sit at my desk. <laughs> and I've I've put Git Bash on my work uh, my gaming computer, which is like try not to do, but it's just like, well, I don't want to swing back and forth and have other computers around so I was like ah screw it I'm just back and just turn the terminal off keep a terminal window open on here and then when it when the process finishes is like okay yeah so I want to set this limit to I think I've been going with 30 30 on these 30 30 or 45 45 if I get them right otherwise I have to do like angle map which is I'm gonna hack this up a little bit. Oh. Uh, set this one. Cool. That's gonna work. Uh, start. So, in theory, 
I set both these to 30 30. I can set up a control panel. Actually, and one. And we'll put them in connector hinges. And we're going to set the velocity to 0 0.5. Set up actions, groups, changes, reverse. Uh, oh, the other limit I want to set on those hinges is I'm going to set this to zero. So I can. call it garage eh, yeah I can because the other garages are not connected to here all right there we go all right now we got to put in ramp uh, ramp I like ramp I'm gonna need more of that. Yeah, I need to charge up. When I sit down. It's highly inefficient. This is more efficient over here, considering it's right here. going to be... I don't have any... Ah, so it's something. Groovy. key it is that I hit but occasionally when I'm trying to do stuff it will 
open up a browser, but it doesn't open up the browser I use. It opens up the stupid Windows default browser. Well, it's not the Windows default browser because I changed that. It just brings, opens up Edge. And this is like, I don't use this. No one I know uses this. I mean, there's probably some people out there that use it. I mean, it's just glorified Chrome, really. Um, yeah, a little inside tip. All I did was they just reskinned re Chrome. You know, and added some new kind of features and stuff like that, but it's essentially the same. Same goofy delicious stuff. Uh, so yeah, as the browser goes, not bad. This is like, and who cares if it's a browser, but one of those things is like all my stuff is in the one I want to use that one and I don't want your your garbage anywhere near me and uh, yeah somehow when I'm hitting I think it's usually when I'm trying to hit control and I catch the Windows key and then must be I don't know it's not anything it's just like happens infrequent enough that I don't know what it is but frequent enough that it annoys me when it does. So, have at they. Oh, turn the wheels back on. And the wheels on the whole time? Weirdo. I shut the wheels off uh, as a power saving measure because when they redid the wheels, uh, because wheels used to explode a lot. Like, they'd explode running across Mars, this ground on flat surface. They'd just randomly explode. This isn't gonna work. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. I need all of that ramp. This is, this is a wide boy. So, yeah. We're gonna have to do something different. <sighs> Grr, arg. I know exactly what I gotta do, I just don't wanna do it. It's not that I don't wanna do it, it's just that I wasn't looking for to it. You bet your sweet baby it does. nice is that if you could see it when it's in a kind of emissive state. I think that notch up there is what I'm looking for. If I don't know if it shows, because I don't think of it till I place it. This is like, is that upside down? Oh, I gotta grind it off and do it again. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Okay. I'll check on this one. So, yeah, that's the right direction. And it doesn't show up. Ah. Uh, not 
until you weld it a little bit. You bastard. It shows, but not until it's kind of too late. Bar on all the time, but can't really. Are oh, you kidding me? Can't really see what you're doing all the time when you're the large bar in the play in the way. Okay. connector a little lower, lower so I think I'm gonna go with 40 40 no 45 45 that's what I'm thinking and I should just be able to do that within here so hinge connector hinge uh, assume that's one and assume this is two It's gonna be we're gonna set it to a minus and let's try 0 0.5 first and because this is now a group this button action should be all set and all I have to do now is update this connector and we should be able to push the button and did lower actually I think 30 was actually spot on. Actually, no, let's get the wheels back up here. Okay. Let's take a look. Anyway, I almost don't even need to put anything on this. Let's, uh. Doesn't even gonna fit. Gracefully. Mm. I can either put one of these smaller ships in there, or I can make this fit. Uh, what's these doors called? This airtight hangar door. That's going to be four, five, six, seven. Hangar. Base hangar door. That's there. So we're just going to call these ones. Uh, Alright, 
so confirm that's working. Yes, cool. Uh, what we're gonna do is ah, uh, you didn't do open close on the button. You just did open. make this not look derpy. Take out the derp. Um, let's see. What's going to make it look kind of intentional? I know what I want to do. And yeah, I know. You ground off the part that you needed that it was held on with. It's fine. These things happen. Let's move you. So what I think I'm gonna do is go oh, got on me. Cool. Thinking of this and that, and then what I'm going to do is that. these around. You're like, why do you care what it looks like? And it's like, well, you should always care what it looks like. Okay, there. And now, put these back.
Let's get rid of this stupid thing. I never use that block. I hate that block. That block can die. And then I'm gonna do this. Yeah. something cool for the top. Let's do, uh... galaxy far far away that these um, that the heavy armor with the wood grain has a really cool pattern and I started using the crap out of it because it's cool looking does require a little tad bit more welding to Energy make them below. just because you gotta because the heavy armor blocks require so much stuff but when you're doing them with the the panel it's not so bad versus the full block so that's pretty cool so you Energies. Yeah, so I've been a big fan of trying to... It's good to kind of go through whenever there's new textures and go through the... the not just the textures, but how they look with each individual block. Um, because sometimes the pattern that comes on them can be cool or it can just be overly repetitive i'm speaking to you like sci-fi armor skin um in a half block it always looks like a vent and can get very repetitive looking and something so you have to change it back and forth and then you're trying to match it up and it, then you just want to slam your head against the wall So, uh, what's two and a half, or uh, 2.5 divided by two? Let's do, uh, let's, seven, five, one, seven, five. Let's try that. Uh, 
looks like on that much. Let's go to one, two, five. Let's do, yeah. Let's do one, two, five. Yeah, I know it was one, two, five, and I should have done it the whole time, but it doesn't always work out exactly like. It. Planet. I knew there was, I had to cheat it one way because of the, I just did it wrong. Reverse, uh, one point, I think that's where it's at. Yeah, it looks good. And we're gonna just reverse these. We're gonna grab things and stuff. Of course, I don't have enough interior plates. Of course! Kinda run into a grid problem too, I feel. Good. We'll probably run into a plate problem, but it's it's fine. That's all done. No, it's left is crying. Kind of, not really, but okay. Uh, let's see, that's 40. The start. Fifteen, twenty, thirty. Might have enough. Might. It's thirty. Cool. And this is eleven and.
Yes, brilliant. So we're gonna fix this block here. Yeah, it's done. Uh, it's not much better, but could be worse. All right. And now. Let's see if we can get the stupid rover in here. Oops. Wrong button. Without blowing it all the hell up. Thankfully, this was built on even, so I was able to capitalize on that with the doors. clears the doors like a glove uh, so I don't accidentally click that button let's just go ahead and remove that there we go. righteous so grinders parked over there rovers parked over there Question is with the rest of the garbage I got parked out in here, and this goes you know, ship emporium here. Some jackass left just parts sitting there. Potentially park some of that stuff away in here. Yes. Yes, indeedy. Hmm. Alright. Question is what's gonna get parked here? So, a miner can go in there. I'm just gonna put that in there right now. Fix the doors here in a second, and I think we'll put this in there. Question is, is it gonna fit in that two block thing, or do I have to add doors to it? It's not gonna fit. Ain't gonna fit. So, we're gonna do a lot of we're gonna do a lot of retrofitting here in the last little. Death throws of this. Uh, 
And while I have this open. This is all. It's all part of B, so we'll call this nine and ten B. So nine B and ten B. Yep. Cool. That way, that they should be all controlled. This one just needs the lower ones put on. But what I'm gonna do is that's already got the ship in it, so we'll have to leave the welder ship out. We don't have a home for it. Say we could put one. We could put some doors right here. Let's see how does it look? Fuel low. Your fuel is low. Um, yeah, block height. That's what we're doing. Cool. I can just tell it's going to be okay. Yeah, that's fine. So. Yeah, I can go back a bit more. Let's see if I can get it all the way back. So, tricky with that door. Oh, I need to change that door out. Might as well do it now since we've already broke the airtight integrity in here. Takes care of the door, and we're far enough back. That's funny. And good enough. So we're figuring we're gonna have some. Yeah, we'll keep it like that, and we won't. Yeah. Don't think I have any more plates in here. How do I do? But I'm just realizing it's not a plate problem, it's a 
crooked ship problem. because it's only three wide. Mm. Oh, that's not going to work. Uh... Just need to move these one. Uh... Guess we're going with the blue then. Beep, beep, beep. What the hell, man? Is that only... Is that only two blocks? One, two... Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, those gotta be... No, those still have to be out of one. Like a glove. Which weirdo? It's actually, um, yeah, we're gonna put that in there. Let's, let's do that. The only thing is, I don't have a reverse camera on this one, so I'm gonna have to do it the old school way. this thing when it's it's meant to have a, a heavy load so when it doesn't have any load on it it's it's finicky <laughs> cool so everything's put away now we just gotta weld up a bunch of stuff and we're gonna need some blocks to do it all with and go figure there's a whole bunch over here in Yeah, that does pose a question now. Is this is like, did I still have plates in that <laughs> grinder ship when I brought it back? I think I just had like a few, and I that's what I grabbed.
sink go that I dropped right there. Over here, grab that. And hit this button and the whole thing should close. Yeah! A job well done. You let's just need to add these doors in and fix that hanger. This would be A, so it's one, two, and three. A, so this is one A, two A, three A. We don't need. Dump that. Not that that discharge, sitting at the discharge is going to matter much, but... I don't want to leave a fully, perfectly, uh, fully charged, perfectly good battery to waste. So, what I'll do is... is I won't grind it down, I'll, um, what I'll actually do is, um, switch to interior blocks, which I already have a bunch of, I have some of that material already, and it's cheaper, and I'll just use that to connect all the way across. So, those are done. So close, it's so far away. Mm. Energy low. Like there was some in that grinder. Some plate action. Some convenient. Not quite enough, but that's okay. We're just gonna go over here. Three. Actually, this will be funny. Oh, yeah. I think that. Let's see. It's 25. 25. Cheap. 
a power conduit. Actually. As soon as I said that, I just realized what I want to switch this to. Uh, where do I have it? Question. There. Let's throw it in here. use that's cheap. Oh, I know. Something that looks like conduit. And we can do things with, like, take these two out. Uh, there should be that one. And Energy critical. Yeah, I'll get to you in a second. I'm busy. this one for a sec. that I needed and probably had some left over, of course. We will need, however, some of these. Let's grab them all and let's grab them. Not that one. That one. Now that with that in place, I don't have to have fully welded, but I can take out the block. cool is that? I got some steel play left over while you're messing around. Just waiting for these motors.
seems to be the theme of this entire series, waiting for motors to be made. Let's see, let's, uh, while we're waiting for those, let's uh, finish, I think that door's set up. Is this switch set up? Ourselves. Actually, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna grab this one because this one's cool. And we haven't used it that much, and we don't need a full four switches. And we'll put this one. Oh, that was... Let's see, where can we stick it? That's gonna be out, out the way. Interior plate. What do I got on me? Oh, the motors. <sighs> Remember, never stand in front of doors when you weld them, because it might open up on you. Alright, now let's grab that one. Oh. Uh, I hate. Flips out when you come near small grid. Hanger! The new ones. This is gonna be. Actually, we're gonna call this. Let's uh, say wel welder garage. Uh, welder. Hanger. Doros. Say. And then we're going to go here. Okay. Say. Garage hanger, welder hanger. Open close. Press the button. Press the button. Do I have a vent in here? I don't think so. Once that is closed. We can open up the store, and your tight integrity is once again restored. Now we're gonna grab uh, some of them motors here, like the 48 of them. Closing those now is because the other set are already uh, closed. Close. Yeah, just check to make sure. Yep, that works. All our stuff is put away. We've got Exterior landing plaids if we need them in the future. Well, all our vehicles parked indoors. Away from the harmful elements. Nice. Alright. Uh, let's see. What are we doing the material here? Dude. 
I don't know why I grabbed all of those. Weird. I called up like 600. doing is, is basically putting everything into running down all these extra parts in case I come back and I need this material for something leave those uh, so that'll just sit there and run in the background the rest of that's all materials cool And then I'll generate all, put everything back into raw material so I only get it when I need it. Call it up as opposed to having just a stockpile of crap I don't use. Alright, everything looks good here. It's one final check through stuff. We're okay there. actually take an extra bottle with us. All right, let's go. Let's see how uh, things are going over at the old refueling station. Hundred percent. All right. Let's check our inventory. Threw a bit of the ice, but that was expected. That's mine. Okay, we got our full container. Might want to grab some of that material with us, just cause. Um, sure. Never know when you might need some gravel along the way. And parachutes, got some ice in there. So let's go through the plan, do a nice pre-flight check, unlike we did last time, because we don't want to repeat last time. All right, we're going to take off. We're going to hit all of our thrusters, except the backings. And we'll unlock and head up, and then we'll go forward, and we're just basically going to head up first. And then, once we get going, we, have, we need, yeah, we're gonna need some thruster override action somewhere. We'll use nine as our control unit here, so. Okay, so this is our atmosphere thrusters hydrogen and the backing so let's just do it this way so we have atmo thrusters on and off hydrogen thrusters on and off and backing thrusters on and off now and while we're here I'm just going to do the hydrogen ones. So we've got one, two, 
one, two, three, and four. And FL1. Let's call this B60 H thrusters forward. Okay. And what those are going to be is. override decrease and increase all right so anything that we need oh might as well handle uh, landing gear and um, connectors Switch lock. Switch lock. Right, so this should be what we use to control taking off. I think we're ready. Let's hope so. So we can go ahead and unlock right now. Actually, no. We've got to wait on that because thrusters on and gyros on. We're gonna do a thruster check. Make sure that everything is showing on. Our ammo on. Backing on. Side. Up, down, back. thrusters look to be glowing. Alright, let's try unlocking and getting up and out of here. full burn up until we s uh, stop getting lift or stop stop moving upwards essentially should probably start to kick out around uh, 5,000 meters up. Yep, we're starting to see it slow down. All right, so now what we're going to do is engage our forward thrust. And we're going to tilt up. Come on, come on. Increasing. We're going to keep our angle at wait until our speed gets up and then we'll crank this up to about uh, 45 degrees. Actually, we're losing altitude. God damn it. afraid of or might be too heavy. Let's turn this over right off before we crash into the ground. Hopefully we can slow it. Do we have enough Atmo to slow us down? Come on. Alright, 
We're getting, we're getting, we're heading back up. So what's going on? Because I feel like we've got something else that's in override. Because we're still like sliding. Thrusters aren't even engaging. Let's check all the Atmos. Make sure there's no overrides. Luckily we got tons of fuel. And we caught it before it went completely shenanigan on us. What I was noticing is, is the forward thrusters weren't doing anything. Like even right now, when I push forward, we should be seeing plumes on the hydrogen thrusters, we're not. caught it before we crashed. Let's see if we can get some speed out of this thing. We should be going much faster than this. Hey, if we have to do a slow rise out of here, we do a slow rise out of here. some weird interaction between the hydrogen and the atmospheric thrusters. Turn those off. Oh, turn those back on. Start losing velocity when we turn. That's weird. Oh, those are the hydrogen thrusters. Okay. Those are the backing, so let's turn those off.
gonna try something here since I got a little bit of altitude to mess with. Yeah, that's what it was. As soon as I turned off the uh, atmospheric thrusters, yeah, all kinds of power. Actually, no, I didn't. I'm falling backwards. That's where it's coming from. Tilt this forward. Turn those back on. Thing. It's acting really weird, like all of the thrusters are not engaging properly. <clears throat> well, let's... Thrusters. Backing. Those are definitely backing, and those are definitely backing. going through why so our generator seemed to be keeping up with what little we are using <clears throat> oh I know what it is I know what it is I just figured it out that there it is <laughs> and my tanks is like why is this not going down oh it's because your tanks are set to stockpile and so whenever you're trying to use the hydrogen you're only using what the hydrogen uh, the hydrogen generators can produce. I wonder if that was a problem if I had on the last ship. All right, let's do this. Here. It's like I've seen this problem before. still going up. Keep an eye on that gravity. If we can break gravity, we might have a shot. Yep, oh, gravity's going down. Cool. Hopefully the speed starts coming back. the speed.
We got a good escape velocity and everything is looking good. Hydrogen is holding up. Still making altitude. Let's uh, start getting ready for space. Uh, turning on the grab gen. meters and climbing gravity at 0.22 hydrogen at 93 percent we're doing really well should be now that I took the tanks off stockpile he's Pete's he's like why is this not working why is this not making any sense and this is like and I know what and, and it was one of those things is like the whole time it's like I know what this is but I just can't remember it what it is that's causing this. <laughs> of course, you know, a little bit of stress there. <laughs> so I was a little freaking out. And stress right now, not super great considering the fact that the, with the weather the way that it is, uh, you know, we've got rain that came in today and Whenever a front moves in, my head gets a little loopy for a bit from the pressure change. So, it's not as bad as it's been in the past. It's just a little bit more frequent. It's really weird. So, because of climate change. <laughs> but, yeah, the. Um, so, this has actually been going very well for once. This was a good series. <laughs> it's funny because, so, the escape from Mars portion uh, of the actual, like, uh, duck roll that was eventually taken over by the other person, um, you know, that if done safely, in other words, you're not seeking out to kind of, like, cause problems, it can be done solo, obviously. Um, I didn't purposely get involved into too much combat on purpose, you know, be, um, just because I was like, I've, when I've played it through before on my own, I've, uh, you know, I've taken on some of the ground bases and, and some of the transports, but I was kind of with this series, I was just like, it was kind of a part of me was like, well, how fast can I get through this thing? You know? And it had been long enough that I didn't, re I mean, I could kind of remember certain, like, oh, this is this section here, you know? And it's never as good as coming into something totally green without ever playing it before. Because, uh, or even watching somebody else play it. Because then, you know, Everything is kind of a surprise to you. Uh, so, uh, so it wasn't fast. I mean, it wasn't speed running, and I'm sure there's speed runs out there for this, but it was. Uh, I'm sure it's just somebody like making a clang drive and popping out, out to space, hit the satellite, boom, done. You know, kind of. 15 minutes and they're done kind of situation but it was one of those things where I wanted to kind of play it through raw but I wanted to kind of see how it you know 
think it'd be done if you didn't. Anyway, so you can play out the scenario way, way longer if you like engage in the combat and you're always kind of like having to, you know, re you know, fight, repair, and fight and repair, stuff like that. And you know, so you can extend the gameplay. Um, but I was kind of like, it was funny because I, I, I finished. This took the place of like a short little thing that I had done. Um, and was just like, what is the next thing that I'll do? Oh, I don't know. I've, you know, wanted to play the... I really wanted to kind of play this again. I had played it early on when I watched somebody else play it. And it's just like, oh, I really want to do this again. I think it'll be fun. So, um, and it was. It was pretty exciting. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, we're in space. Turn this over right off. Alright. So now we gotta figure out where else to go. What else do we do? I'm trying to see if there's a oh. The, like the asteroids that are popping up they're kind of round it's kind of weird donut shape huh? I'm trying to see if there's you know something to aim at here In the in the save, there's just the one. Let's see what happens when we head towards one of these that bad boys. It's like an asteroid and more like a dust polyp. You say, what the hell is that over there? It doesn't look like a, it's a weird looking asteroid. That's cool. Alright. Give me a hot second. Let's see where I was. If I got anything in here. Yes, things. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll just jump in a direction and see what happens. Well, that's 
that's annoying. Jump. Drive. Show me what you got. Now we're waiting for the jump drive to charge. Ugh. Probably should have moved it when I set up this goofy ass plan. I should have. Actually, I got two hydrogen bottles on me, and I don't need to have two hydrogen bottles on me. Uh, put one in there. The asteroids in the save are really weird. Oh, you know what? The other thing I was gonna do, I was gonna take a ship with me. Crap. I don't know what I would have taken with me, but I, I forgot that, you know, this thing comes with, you know, a bay, uh, a, or a small ship in the back here. I could have put one on here. Oh well. Not a requirement, but I thought it would be cool to have. So. Yeah, but it's the, the asteroids that are in this because this is this whole scenario is built off an old save. So all the asteroids are the old school uh, original series, original sp space engineers asteroids, which were like little mini globe planets. And if you play now, it's just like the asteroids are just craggly mints. And what's worse is, is like the new asteroids have uh, like dangly bits off the side that you know when you're going and you're investigating them if you're coming in too fast or not paying attention you can actually crash into like little dangly blocks off the side. So That's running the door script okay. Is this running? Yeah, is it doing anything? Yeah, it's controlling doors too. That's gonna get confusing. You need to be off. Dude, what are you doing? I don't think this is running anything. Actually, I think this was supposed to be set up to run displays. Yeah, it doesn't have anything. But this is actually a pretty wicked cool ship. I um, uh, I mean it doesn't look that great. <laughs> I mean visually, it's I mean it's it's cool because it's got like I mean it's got both Atmo and uh, hydrogen, so you can get it in space. You can actually, it's got three cargo containers. You don't want to fill all of them to the max and then try to get off a planet. But like uh, traversing through space works pretty okay. So, um, but you can go down to the planet with it, which is nice. And like I said, it's got the little like platform in the back so you can have your little like ship to go, you know, so if you have where you need to go down to a planet, you can, you know, do a little shuttle mission down there, which would have been nice. Oh, it's the proverbial, what do you do while you're waiting for your jump drive to charge? And you have an unknown signal that's 1,300 kilometers away. Right. Take a look at where your stuff that you have in, in here. Oh, that's what I could do. I could build something. That's, um, wonder what could I build and where would I put it? What's that do? Oh, that has a bit of pressure on and off. I don't have a whole lot of space for pretty much anything. No, I could do. I could, uh, Take out this couch, pick up this, and put in 
a projector block. Uh, let's see. Let's divide our uh, so. yeah. Ah. Bad. Just need displays and computers. Cool. Uh, that's actually well uh, here. Put the seat back. Cool. Uh, let's go check, make sure they're not gonna run into an asteroid or something. Now we're good. Actually, do we have an art detector on this thing? No. Probably be a good thing to add. I don't know if I have enough soft material for one. Should probably put one on here though. Hmm. It's covering up my tanks. What is that? Yeah, it leads out to the sky, so you can't take that out. That was weird, I don't know why the door control script didn't control it. I don't know. Let's, uh, it's a good spot. Oh, that's probably a good spot right here. Yes, perfect spot for an ore detector right there. Mm. Uh, let's check, make sure we're not hitting nothing. Oh, it looks like we've got an asteroid ahead of us. Script, what are you doing? Oh, jump drives ready, cool. Just in time. Let's make sure we're lined up. Looks like we still got a ways to go. Uh, so I controlled that one. So it's definitely it's running. I think we have to change the name of those blocks just so that it might have term in there where it's uh, sliding door. Let's call it. There we go. Yeah, there we 
there's something in there that's in that title that is the uh, door script's not happy about. automatically closing the doors now it's just handy All right, pattern looks clear ahead let's see if we have enough material to make this oh yeah I find that having an ore detector on, even if you're not hunting for ores, when you're flying through space is good because if you're off doing something with the ore detector plus mod, uh, when it starts detecting ores and it looks like it, the detection is coming from in front of you, you'd be like, oh crap, there's something coming. And you might, might have enough time to go and, and do something about it. Is it because they have the word airlock in here? Is that what's making you all cattywampus? Simple airlock set falls. True. All right, so I go through this one. This one okay? Now it does. All right, so need to do no. I think that's the command. Uh, true, true, zero. Yes, no airlock, but air is capitalized. Okay. So, no airlock. So in theory, when I hit this door, it shouldn't turn that door off. When I hit this door, it shouldn't turn that one off. It shouldn't. But if I go up to this one, it opens that, turns this one off, turns this one on, and opens the door. Groovy. And these doors should work just fine without impacting anything. So I love these airlock style doors because they take up one block and stuff like that as I have to, you know, sacrifice two blocks for doors to act as an airlock. But the problem is, is they are a bit buggy when you're at speed in space. Uh, particularly on a server not so much on a private save like I can use them fairly no problem but if you are using those doors on a server <laughs> be ready for some weirdness when you go through those doors
Well, that seems pretty far away, so we may have one more jump after this. Almost. Soon. table and look up blueprints, I guess. Uh, projector. Actually, it's called a console. console. Fix the name here. Oh. Should fix our ore detector too. Or. Range. All of it. console block. Let's see. Let's look at blueprints. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, that's big. Let's scale that down. Oh, this is, uh, Change that down to eight. Oh, zero. Uh, zero, zero, eight. Uh, a little bit bigger. Let's try. Ten. Oh yeah, I remember. I what what this was. This was um small grid cargo ship that I made it didn't work out as well as I had hoped the idea being the idea being is is that uh, oops, scale this up a little bit the idea being is, is is that it's all one unit but this top unit's connected by this one little connector here so if there's ever a problem you could grind off that little connector uh, um, um, conveyor bit and then this little this top portion acts as a drop pod and because once I got it done with it I was just, just like uh, I could do this totally different and so it was one of those things once I finished it I was just like I'm scrapping it uh, but I still have the blueprint because it's just like I like the idea and I just want to change it so I uh, <laughs> so I kept the blueprint Fire. Uh, this is what we're in now. This is the tank I made. Small grid, and it's kind of cool, and it, and it works too. What I like about it is, is, is this is this first thing I made. This is literally the first thing I made after the. Um, uh, the console, uh, the weapons cons custom console block came out. So you can sit in this, so you can have the driver in the driver's seat who's down below in the armored section, and then you can have someone in this seat here, and as he rotates left and right, he can control that gun, but he actually controls uh, this gun here, and then he has the option to fire, and I think I think I might have like linked the two together when I'm not sure, but it it was actually uh, pretty cool. And, you know, try to make it function as similarly as possible to an actual tank. Um, it was fun. So head to the bridge and see how our uh, 
what we're doing here. Planet still ahead of us, and no asteroids are in front of us. In fact, I don't even really see any anymore. Jump drives at 66. So what else we got? been watching my Sunday stream that's the that Dracos is the small grid gone large that I did uh, it's the welder ship that I made from on Mars for some reason. So this is, um, this is actually a large grib, uh, rover. And, uh, it's, a. Uh, I have, I have done the, what I call the wrong way scenario, as it were, or where you go from one pole to the other with it. Uh, I've done it with this thing and it doesn't, uh, it's missing uh, because it doesn't show uh, subgrids. There's actually a polar, um, what I call a um, a polar s a set of pistons on the top, and then there's a set of drills in the back. This is pretty much a roving. This is a roving command center. It's got a landing pad on the top. It's got a set of drills. You know, it's, it can climb hills. I've taken this thing quite vertically and climbed with it. It's uh, it's hard and it takes a while, but it can be done with it. <laughs> I, I may still end up doing a scenario with it, but it's one that's going to be, it's a long scenario and I haven't decided if I really want to sacrifice the massive amount of weeks it takes to do that it might be something where i do it again offline and record it and then just edit and post it because it's it's long <laughs> it takes a long time because you can i mean rovers going across you know a planet you know it's like something like 185 kilometers and or 225 or forget what the math is on it you know it's 160 diameter and 160 kilometers in diameter so 2 pi r on that time and divided by 2 because you're not doing the full circumference you're only doing half so you're talking 80 times 3 is 160 yeah it's, it works out to uh, 185 times half it's like yeah, so it's not super far. Um, uh, but uh, it, uh, but yeah, you can get like up to 30 meters per second, or is it 30 meters per minute on a rover? I think it's 30 meters per minute or on a rover. Um, oh, we're ready. Oops, turn gravity off. Boy, we should be really close by now. Jeez, it's a lot farther than I thought. We're still quite a ways away. I mean, we're on top of it, so even if we do another jump, it'll be a very small jump. Okay. So yeah, um, 
it will it takes a yeah you're not gonna get like 30 meters per second on all the time like when you're do it going over hills and stuff like that you're down to half a meter a minute <laughs> at best because climbing takes a long time so yeah it's, like i said it's probably not something i would want to just do in a stream because and it's boring it's you know it's not exciting the reason splitzy has to put uh combat in that is is because watching a person drive a rover over land for weeks on end is boring as hell to do it is boring as hell so you have to you have to do something to kind of make it more entertaining <laughs> All right, what else do we got in here? Oh, the egg drop. Ex this is fun. This is, um, uh, this is, uh, at some point I'll going to build an in, either into one of my other storylines or, uh, is this new, cause I always like to challenge myself, uh, with, uh, difficult starts survival starts so this new egg drop one is way smaller it has like just two seats some displays and stuff like that i give you like nothing to survive with like there is a connector uh, oxygen an oxygen tank a hydrogen tank two ta hydrogen tanks so it's a fighting chance like my other one but I don't and I put some mad uh, medical components in there so you can get a survival kit going uh, but uh, the idea with this one is I was trying to make a small like this fits literally in a one by one block Uh, well, one by two, but in a one by one square, like this is, I think, actual size uh, for a small grid. Let me check and look at the scale. 55, so it's half half size. So, but it will fit in a one by one by two spot. And the reason being is is, is that I'm just trying to make an actual escape pod, and I don't have the mod on here, but it has a hatch in the top. So the, um, instead of regular door, so it's airtight. So I don't know if I'll make a scenario or something like that with it, but it'll be one of those things where it's just like, I definitely want to incorporate it in a ship at some point where, you know, you have a big ship that, you know, that gets damaged to the, you know, a point where you have to actually jettison things via escape pods and, uh, the only thing I haven't in and basically it would be something where you you uh, you get launched through the escape pod and then the and then you kind of start the, the whole story from there but uh, it's fun <laughs> it's much better than the other one oh, that's insane. so the other escape pod which is uh, it's pretty much the same dimensions um but you can't really this one you can actually steer the other one you can't steer you can only gyro override it um the other one that i have me, this one this one it basically is um this is uh, i actually you love using this one for, for survival starts because you got to know what you're doing uh you have there's three medical components that are contained in the cryo uh chamber in the top it's a small grid cryo chamber attached to and it's basically got an 
again it's just an oxygen tank a hydrogen tank a battery and a connector and trust me you can and i've done it because i actually have a when i first started doing twitch it was a scenario where i started with this and i still have the video i need to edit it and there's actually the start the first video which i did finish editing is on my youtube um and it's one of the things where it's it's been on my list to edit the rest of the video because there's tons of it i mean i i played that for i think like 36 weeks or something like that um uh, but i started with this and i did it like <laughs> first shot too like the funny thing is is i went back and was kind of doing some b-roll and tried to do it again and actually got jammed up <laughs> so it was, it was like it was a one shot wonder because and the thing was is i had tested it to make sure that it would work and then i was like cool so then i did this and i used it as a, a stream start that worked okay but i went back and tried to do kind of uh start again to create some kind of b-roll stuff to fill in some of the gaps and uh within like a first uh, two hours in man i got hammered by a lightning bolt and and was got into a no op situation <laughs> because you only uh, when you use that and you land on per tamp you have no ice or you because ice is really hard to find on per tamp so i had no ice to speak of oh we're ready all right we're close enough now i can actually start to scroll down on this but yeah and uh I got into a situation where I ran out of oxygen, ran out of hydrogen, and uh, <laughs> was like, well, and then a lightning bolt hit my survival kit, and I was, well, that's over. Oh, we're actually really close. try to stay in space yeah, just on the verge of gravity and see if we can't locate some kind of base or something some kind of signal. That's our shadow. So one of the things that I've seen gamers say in um, about in other series is that you from people can actually see where there was block deformation and stuff like that I've never actually I always find you have to be like really close before you can see anything like that Get gravity, so I'll flatten out here. We definitely don't want to get into atmosphere on this thing. We may not be able to get back out.
Ah. That wasn't supposed to happen. What the hell? Why are we rolling? So, it is what it is. It's not... Okay, now that we've recovered into this atmosphere. Let's see if we can make it to that research station. Turn this ore detector off before it gets too loud and obnoxious. Starting to see something. Yeah, it looks like a little outpost on a hill. Are they crooked or am I crooked? I think we're landing right here because it's uh, it's going down on its own accord. still have the ability to get back up, so that's a good sign. This is going to be a little cattywampus. But, we're down. Alright, let's find out what's going on at this research center. We should probably, yeah, we got a gun. Someone decides to be a little friendly with a gun. Well, no one's shooting at us. Looks like everything looks like it's abandoned and it's all kind of rusted out. Nope, oh, dead guy. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Owned by nobody. Hmm. Uh, that's probably why their med kits all broke apart. Just got some 
materials and stuff. See, research assignment. Research the following planet for possible ore deposits. Once completed, return the findings to SE headquarters in Ethenborough City. Oh, Ethenborough City. Well, that's something to go to, so make a GPS marker for that. Trees. Nothing. Nothing in it. Another dead guy. Nothing on him. Oh, looks like there's a couple guys here, and they kind of just died here because their survival kit went away. Some ammo. Some cockpit. Some guns too. some coordinates to go somewhere, so... And some solar panels... The antenna says it's on, but it's not showing anything. Solve that bug in the system. Antenna was supposed to be broadcasting the entire time so that I could find this place. Alright, so we have coordinates. So, all the now the question is can we get off this rock? <laughs> 